I started fishing when I was two years old when we moved, well we had a holiday home here in New Zealand and I was born in France so we'd come over to New Zealand every year. I would drive the boat when I was two years old and we'd go catch kawai from the boil ups and snapper and blue cod and basically anything that was swimming. So um, my partner Courtney found Flynn via Instagram and um, yeah, she found Flynn, she was yelling at me, Mike, come and have a look at this boy. Um, and we very quickly realised that, that Flynn had an amazing passion as well as amazing talent for fishing and uh, we just wanted to get involved and help Flynn anywhere we could. And, um, and it was a real bonus that they were already fishing from a huntsman. And, um, and Flynn, being as passionate as he is, he's, he's definitely very keen to work with us and, and get out there and have some fun. A yellowfin tuna has been my dream fish for a long time, so I was super happy to get that. And I was super surprised how uh, aggressive they were hitting the lures. There was about two of them in the lures and I managed to spot it hitting the lures, which was crazy. Yes! Here he comes, out the way boys. Wait. Yes, that's a cool one. Oh, that's my drink fish. Ah, oh my god. Oh my gosh. Yes. Oh, we did it. Yes. Oh my gosh. Oh yes, I'm so happy. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh. It's actually oh, real. Here's a young guy with some real focus. He knows what he wants. He knows what he wants to do, where he wants to go. Uh, and from our benefit, Flynn was very passionate about his boat, which just happened to be a CSB Huntsman. We got hold of Flynn and, and to find a, a, a young boy these days with the ambition and the desire that he's got to achieve what he wants to achieve is very rare. So, so we wanted to get on board with that. I'm one of the owners of CSB Huntsman Boats. Uh, I started the company in the mid 90s. Uh, I designed the range Huntsman Boats and, uh, and it's grown from a, from a part-time business into a full-time business very, very quickly. Uh, we've been operating now for 25 years, building what we believe is a, an extremely high quality power boat. And, uh, and, and we're very proud of what goes out of the factory and what we manufacture here. We, um, we don't want to build a lot of boats, we build very good boats, not so many, but, uh, but to a very high standard and that's our focus. We use the best of materials, the best of fittings, the best of vinyls. We make a boat that's going to last for years and years down the track. They're, they are a very good performing boat, they're very dry, they're very stable. Uh, we make them so that they, they plane very easily, so the Huntsman boat we can use a, a lower horsepower engine to achieve the same results as some of our competitors with a bigger engine. All of the Huntsman hulls handle big water extremely well, they're a really solidly built boat. Um, they, you can just feel that they're a nice solid ride, uh, very soft riding, quiet, very smooth runners, dry boats um, and just really safe to be out in the big water. So the boat we're putting together for Flynn is, a, is our latest model, it's called the Centurion. It's 6.5 metres uh, long with a 2.4 metre beam, uh, enclosed cabin um, with a sliding cabin door, lockable cabin um, with steps up the door and over the bow. It's got moulded side pockets, buoyancy chambers right through the whole side pocket um, from bow right down to the stern. So it's a very safe boat with lots of high flotation. 
uh, and you can feel the rigidity in the hull because of that twin skin. In the old days or past gone days we, we would make a boat out of bulkheads, the old style fashion boat building. It's now shifted to CNC manufacturing so everything is designed and produced uh, electronically on CNC and computer work and we have a router that makes our plugs for us. It's a very expensive exercise to do and, and enables us to get it millimetre perfect. So the boats are perfectly symmetrical. We know how they're going to look. We know how much room's in the boat. We know how they're going to perform before we actually have to build them. Whereas old style methods, you put them in the water, you cross your fingers and you hope they go well. You hope you can stand up and you've got plenty of elbow room and shoulder room inside the boat and the screen's not in, your, in the middle of your vision. Uh, now we know that before we produce it. So it's a much more, um, it, it's a safer way of moving forward. It's a much more economical way of building boats and, uh, and they're perfect. They're, they're built millimetre perfect. He's on it, he's on it. Got him. Got him. Yee-hoo. I became a Mad Catch fan because the lures, they have such awesome actions and especially like the Long John Sliders which we've caught all of our massive kingfish on at Derville Island. So they're my favourite one and after we started catching lots of big kingfish we decided that Catch was the one for us and all of their lures have caught us lots of massive fish, big 20 pound snapper, massive kingfish. I'm really looking forward to doing lots of lots more travelling around the world, ticking off all the different species off my bucket list. And I'd love to take my fishing to the next level and have a fishing TV show, travelling around the world, catching bizarre species. Uh, I've been working for the company for 15 years now. I started as an apprentice, worked my way through the factory, production manager, and then last year purchased half the company and uh, into it now. <laughs> Obviously got a huge passion for the boats now, having, you know, having blood in the game. Um, a lot of my ideas are now incorporated into the boats. I'm very excited to see people out there using them and enjoying what we've thought of, what we've incorporated into the boats. Um, and they really do, they just perform extremely well. And you know, it's, I'm proud to, to see the boats on the water and knowing that every one of them is the way we wanted it. <laughs>